Hi, so what's going on guys? Blair here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. And in this video, as promised, I actually got the Catalyst Total Protection Case for my iPhone 12 Pro to actually take a look. So this is the very first for the channel, a Catalyst product. Because I've always wanted to try the Catalyst uh, Total Protection or Catalyst Waterproof Case. So you might be wondering where did the case go? Because I've actually been using this case as my daily case on my 12 Pro for the last 3-4 to four days. So that I can actually give you my honest opinion on what I think about this case. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I actually purchased this case with my own money. Of course, I got it at a pretty good deal for 295 ringgit around the ballpark of 290 ringgit. And um... It's uh, been a pretty good experience using it, to be honest, but um, I'll be talking about my user experience at the end of the video. So before we begin the unboxing and review of this case, a sub to the channel would definitely be awesome. And also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and review of the Catalyst Total Protection case for the iPhone 12 Pro. Alright guys, so we are back. And before we begin the unboxing, you can see right here, I'm actually using the LiPro Free on the daily still because this is the only other waterproof case which I have. Now I do have the Catalyst, I will probably be using it for the next couple of days or weeks. Let's see how good the case is. So if you do want to see my impressions on the LiPro Free, I will leave it in the iCard above or in the description below. So yeah, I had my grabs with this case. So if you do want to hear that, definitely click on the link. All right, let's go back to the Catalyst case. Alright, so let's take a look at the Catalyst packaging. So, very first time I'm actually reviewing this on the channel. So, Catalyst branding on the top. You can see a glimpse of the case. You can see the features. So, this is really an irony. The Alipro Free costs more, almost 100 ringgit more than the Catalyst. I mean, this case right here. But it has less features. So, this case has actually more features. It is certified disinfectable, which is very good in the pandemic era. So, definitely you do want to keep your case clean your phone clean so definitely this case is the case for you so you can be washed with soap and water so this is also waterproof up to 10 meters versus the life proof free which is only two meters so if you do like to go snorkeling you do like to go diving and stuff like that this definitely would be the best choice for you i mean the only other choice would be what the ghost stack uh, nautical and the ghost stack nautical has really bad uh lens issues if you're a person who likes to use camera i mean if you're taking the phone underwater definitely you want to use the camera and i heard it's really bad uh this has optical lens which i'll be showing you later on all right so this has a wrist and lanyard attachment all right so on the right side we can see for iphone 12 pro total protection case all right so on the back you can see right here total protection similar you can see how the case looks this is actually sort of embossed and then you get a feature similar to the front of course this has the patented rotating mute switch which the life proof also has so this is uh, slim two attachment points for your wrist strap if you do want like a neck strap or something like that that will work as well so quick to install which is what i can say for the life proof free as well very easy in and out all right so let's take a look at the case itself let's unbox this quickly very interested to see this case because I always wanted one of the Catalyst cases but I never got to buy one but this is the first time and I heard many good things about this case so I'm my hopes are pretty high let's hope I'm not disappointed all right so in front or inside the packaging I should say yes we do get the lanyard itself which I would not use because I don't really use lanyards of course it's covered with tape um, yes we do get a pot replacement as well so this is very good light proof doesn't give you anything except for the one that comes with the case so this gives you extra peace of mind if your pot protector gets lost or broken and then you get the case itself so we put the case to the side and see what else comes in the packaging all right so definitely we do have to water test the case you can see right here and i cannot stress this enough do not use a screen protector or any skins with your waterproof case or any waterproof cases in general so even the thinner screen protector will actually ruin the waterproof uh, seal I should say because uh, it's meant to actually take just the phone itself with no protection all right so that's it for the packaging and of course the case itself so the star of the show so i'm actually very interested it's the first time i'm actually holding a catalyst product i'm not a catalyst product a catalyst waterproof case i did use the catalyst impact protection so that was a pretty good case it was a bit wide so yeah didn't really fancy that 
but overall the case did work very well so definitely that is another case i can recommend if you are not interested in waterproof cases all right so you can see the optical lens right here let me show you the live proof version live proof version has some optical coating which results in some even worse lens flare uh, you can see the clear back i mean i do love clear backs and i do love the frosted design i'm wondering where is the free with the clear back so i do like this uh sort of translucent back design and you can see this is actually a screen guard see right here okay let's take a look at the right side or should i say the left side this is where you're rotating mute and ring toggle as well as the buttons let's hope these buttons are good because the light proof free ones are pretty crap on the right side your power button so you do get some catalyst branding on the bottom as well and on the bottom you get the port protector as well as the grills for your speaker and then you get the loop or should i say the hole for your wrist strap both sides very nice uh, i do like the construction of the case it feels very solid even without a phone in it all right guys so before i install the phone in the case i actually missed out showing you the insides which i basically like to do all right so let's take a look at the insides you can see that's where all the protection happens so it looks very nice nicely done you okay, guys so you can see on the inside right here the buttons and whatnot and then on the back portion if you have a closer look i do not like this film i feel it's very old school but as long as it doesn't leak it's good enough i hope this doesn't affect lidar though because it's actually not flat this film is actually like wavy so uh fingers crossed all right so let me get the phone installed uh, and i'll be right back all right guys so we have installed the phone in the case and what i can say installation is as easy as what they say power button works face id works you can see right there unlocked uh the volume buttons are very nice and tactile but the power button is pretty hard to press so the mute and ring toggle works you can see right here it's with no problems and the bottom port is where i think life proof one ups uh, catalyst so this is pretty soft and i'm very sure this will break after a while so this is very soft and flimsy so it's very flexible yes overall it's okay i should say that's the reason why they gave you a spare one because they know that that will break after a while let's check camera quality let's, let's check out the camera quality right here see right here let's take a look at the picture the camera focus picture quality is pretty good let's check out lens flare slight lens flare but that is because of the iphone camera itself compared to the live proof version where the lens flare was because of the case i mean the even worse lens flare uh, this doesn't have the issue so good job catalyst very impressed by that so i'm actually still not a big fan of this uh very thin material right here i'm i bet this will actually gather dust and not only that i mean these two portions will gather dust but that will also be very prone to puncture eventually if there's something sharp actually just pokes this it will be punctured so i do not like the design right here i mean the materials that they use i wish it was actually part of the glass structure and something like the live proof so i think live proof in terms of uh, the lidar portion and the flash portion definitely i'll give it to the live proof so each case does have their pros and cons but um overall i think this case feels more solid i do like the clear back because i can show the color of my iphone so now let's take a look at the sound sample without the case and then another one with the case on So now that you have heard the sound sample with and without the case do let me know in the comments below what you think about this case uh is it acceptable as a daily case of course this is not a very good illustration because it's through the camera mic and uh, of course there will be sound differences you might hear more bass than in real life so now coming back to my experience as a catalyst total protection case user for the last couple of days what i can say is that i can accept this case as my daily case which is very very important 
because I'm very fussy with my cases. I think you probably already know that now if you've been following the channel. So when it comes to this one, I think overall out of 10, I will give it like a what 8.5 to 9 which is almost a perfect score as compared to the free free had a lot of like issues because my expectation of life roof being a waterproof case company starting off as a waterproof case company i expect them to have actually improved over the years but now they have used like recycled material so i think that actually affected the quality and fit and finish of the case overall all right so coming back to the catalyst case what i do like about this case let's start off with that i do like the clear design on the back i do like the camera lens of course there are some things I do not like, but overall, my user experience with the cameras in the case has not been affected. It's very close to using the phone without the case, so which is a very good thing. Another thing I do like about it are the buttons. Buttons to me are actually very tactile, at least for the volume buttons, but the power button is slightly harder to press. But uh, that's not a big issue because race to weight anyway. I do like this uh, toggle right here for the mute and ring. I do like this, it's very easy to get to. Uh, call quality on this has been uh, pretty good, I should say, uh, acceptable because I've not like struggled to hear anyone or no one has actually struggled to hear me through this case. So which means no issues right there when taking calls. Another thing I do like about this case is the build. The overall build of this case is actually really, really good. And uh, in fact, I will pick this over the life proof free any day. Plus, this has a better overall waterproof protection because this is up to 10 meters as compared to 2 meters on the life proof free. And this comes also at a cheaper cost. That is another pro. This comes at almost like 100 ringgit difference from the life proof free. I don't know what they were thinking when they priced the life proof free. I would not pay anything close to 400 for a case. I'm just going to be straightforward about that. And I think if they price the life proof case around 329 ringgit like the previous years, I think they'll be a very close contender to the Catalyst. But I personally would still pick the Catalyst because I feel safer with uh, all the features that this case provides. And also the additional like lanyard and uh, extra pop protection like how life proof used to provide back in the day. Uh, but there's already a comparison there. Um, okay, another thing which I do like is overall the screen quality. I never had any issues, of course. You can see right here i'll be coming back to that later on uh, but overall the screen has been uh, pretty okay to use i uh, never had any like accidental touches and stuff like that because the screen has uh, basically worked perfectly for me even with the smudges so last pro to talk about will be the sound quality so you might be wondering what this hole is for this is actually to channel the sound towards you so it's like a front firing speaker sort of setup it projects the sound in front which means that you have a better experience when watching movies and stuff like that. So I do like the overall uh, build and sound quality of this case. Okay, now coming to the things which I don't like. So this is uh, what I thought about when I first saw this case. The camera lens portion. Let me give you a closer look. So you can see this is actually small film right here on both the, the flash and the LiDAR sensor. And this is recess, which makes things a whole lot worse. Not only is it fragile, but it's also recessed, which means dust will get in and to clean it out, you might risk puncturing the soft film that is on there. That's the reason I actually didn't clean it out. You can see it's like pretty smudged up and full of dust inside. So this is actually for me putting in and out of my pocket the last couple of days. That's about it. That's actually collected dust inside there. And the only way, I think the safest way to remove the dust is actually to give this case a wash down. I mean, a waterproof case, right? So you can actually wash this case down and get rid of the dust, but not 100%. Of course, it will still collect there and it'd be probably a big annoyance. And I'm not sure whether if there's enough sand or dust getting inside there will affect LiDAR. Uh, that I can't confirm because I've only used this case for less than a week. But uh, I do think that's a major annoyance for me. So another thing which I don't like is this uh, tab right here. So yes, it's definitely a convenience to remove your phone from the case in and out. Of course, I do not recommend you removing the phone too often. But this actually became an annoyance to my palm because you can see right here, it's supposed to be recessed, but actually it's not. You can see that actually there's a very, very sharp corner right here on both sides. And I think, uh, I don't know how they're going to actually redesign it, but it actually digs into my palm when I'm holding the phone like this. So I really actually do not like that portion. I wish they actually could do something about this. But of course, um, if they do make it recess, it'd be very hard to actually pop out the case. I mean, to pop out the back portion of the case. Uh, so that would probably be a design uh, issue, I should say. Another thing is actually, since there's a gap right here, 
dust actually collects inside here. So if you are the person who doesn't use like MagSafe, having the dust trapped inside here and then opening the port to charge, the dust will actually get sucked into the case because you know the case has a lot of static inside, being a plastic screen protector especially. So you get dust entering the screen and you have to open the case and clean it out and that's a really a major annoyance. Trust me, I've actually experienced that before. So I think um, overall acceptable for me because I use MagSafe but if you do not use MagSafe, this is going to be a major annoyance and the quality of this uh, pop protector, so far no problems for me because I've actually not opened it that much. But if the type who opens it too often because it's such a soft material and of course in your pocket there'll be heat and stuff like that, this will actually get torn eventually. So that's something to take note of. That's the reason why they provide a spare one in the box. So yes, the last thing which I feel they should address is the smudges. My hands are basically pretty sweaty so they get quite greasy after a while. So you can see right here how much oil is on the screen. And this oil is very hard to remove. Even with a microfiber cloth, it's very hard to get rid of this oil from the screen. Yes, you can wash it as what I said earlier, but you're not going to keep on washing it. The Life Proof Free doesn't have that issue. So I'm not sure what material they are using over here, but this is actually considered pretty bad for me. And I'm uh, not sure whether you can see this. Let me try to get the camera to focus again. Dust actually collects on the edges here and it's almost close to impossible to get rid of. Trust me, I've actually tried using a Q-tip. I tried using like a microfiber cloth and the dust just wouldn't like come off. I'm not sure there's some gum at the side of the screen. I'm not sure what is going on there. But to me, that's a major annoyance. And it was like that the day after I installed the case and started using it, putting my pocket and stuff like that. So overall, what do I think about this case? Um, yes, the sound quality is good, lacking a bit of bass compared to the Free. The Free is quieter but has more bass. So personal preference right there. Camera quality is good. Overall, user experience is basically a 9 out of 10 for me. Uh, and I'm very, very happy that I purchased the Catalyst case. And I'll probably purchase it for the next iPhone as well and compare with the Free again if I do get the opportunity. Yes, I can recommend this case, but there are some basic things which uh, you have to decide on your own like charging the way you charge your phone if you do plug in always like use a power bank outside yeah definitely this case is going to be annoying to use and the dust is going to be annoying as well so overall definitely can recommend this case the price is reasonable 290 over ringgit less than 300 ringgit you can even get it uh, i will leave the link in the description below for Malaysian buyers but uh, overseas buyers I probably will have to find Amazon or something like that but I'll definitely leave it in the description below so if you do want to purchase this case all right so this has been a review of this case a very honest opinion uh, after using it for the last couple of days do let me know in the comments if you want me to do a comparison of the waterproof cases both brands Lifeproof and Catalyst and I'll be more than happy to do it for you guys so that's all for this video guys hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.